Alright, so After Effects, ramp slow-mo, yeah, it's all good. Alright, to start off, you're obviously going to need a computer or a laptop, some footage, some footy, some mm. footy, and um, After Effects, yes. Um, Alright, step one. You're going to want to press control if you have a PC. If you have a Mac, you press the Apple button, I think. I don't know. But press control and then I, control I, to import your footage. So let me find some good footage that I haven't edited yet. Um, something cheesy. Let's see here. Yeah. Alright, so open up your footage, remember you press control I, and you'll get your footage, and it should show up, yeah I know it's called Jew, the person's video is a Jew, I'm not just dogging on Jewish people, I'm not racist or religious or whatever. So yeah, you get your footage, and you want to check the duration. Mine's 13 seconds, so just memorize your duration. Alright. Now you're going to want to press Control N. So Control plus N, and this window should pop up. Um, at the top it'll say name, just name, name it whatever you want or leave it how it is. I'm going to name it Ramp. And down here at the bottom it'll say start time code don't worry about that duration you want to change the duration to about how long your video is that you just imported but maybe like three or four seconds longer so mine is 13 seconds so I'm gonna make the video about or the composition that I'm making about 16 seconds so just just change that. As you can see, um, it goes from right to left. So the two, first two zeros on all the way to the right are milliseconds. The second set, which is 10 right now, is the seconds. Next two are minutes, and the next one's hours. So just change. I'm going to change that 10 to 16. And that'll be 16 seconds. So let me do that. All right, and press OK. And there you go. Alright, so now you're going to want to drag your footage that you imported down, down in here, uh, if you can see my cursor where I'm waving it, down into that space, and let go. And this should pop up over here, and it should come down here over by the timeline. Um, what you want to do is, right here, scroll this little cursor thing over to where you want the ramp to start. So, I'm gonna, oh yeah, if you press uh, the keyboard, if you press page down, it'll go forward. If you press page up, it'll go backwards. So that may just be a little easier to go back and forth. So I'm going to start it right here. So once you get that, you're going to go over, back over here to where your footage is on in the timeline, and right click, and you'll get this. There will be a bunch of options and you want to click on time and then go to enable time remapping or just press control alt t and then this little window down here will say time remap under your thing see that and then one diamond at the end or the beginning and one at the end will appear what you're going to want to do next is go over all the way to the left over here like if your cursor is in line with the word time remap go to the left and you'll see um, two arrows and there will be like a little diamond between them I'll show you right there add a remove keyframe um, you wanna click that button and then a little gold diamond should show up right where you wanted it to start see that 
Now you're going to want to do the exact same thing for where you want it to end. So just press page down or page up to where you want it to end. And I'll just have it end right here. And then go back there and press that little diamond between the arrows. And now you should have four gold or four to star diamonds on the timeline. You want to click on the word time remap over here. Click that once and all the diamonds should be lit up like yellow or gold now. After you get that, you're going to want to click on this little graph button right here. Scroll over it. It'll say graph editor. Right there, you want to click that. And then you'll get this. You'll have solve your timeline, and it'll have these little second marks right here. And there's one, two, three, four little squares along that line, and then it'll go down. Now, this part is where it gets a little bit tricky. So, here, I'll just go over here. Um, one sec. Alright. Along the line, you'll see four boxes. Over here, between the third box and the last box, you're going to want to click on the line. And then this will show up. And you'll get, like, the boxes will be all lit up, and there will be yellow things, and there will be, like, that, like, the line will be highlighted, and there will be a little circle in the middle. Remember, this should be between the last box and the third box. All right. So now you're going to want to click on that line where you clicked before, where it's highlighted. Click there. Click, then hold shift, and then drag it out to the right. And you're going to want to drag it maybe down to like almost to the line that says point .2. Whoops. Hang on. I messed up. Alright, sorry, I forgot this too. After you click, then hold shift, then drag. You drag it down however much you want. If you drag it down further, it'll go slower. If you drag it down less, then it, it'll go not as slow. So, when you let go, you're going to want to let go and then let go of shift. And that'll, like, pressing shift will keep the line straight. Because if you don't, it'll bend like you just saw. So, just drag it down however far you want. I usually drag it down to, like, where it says point two right there. And it all depends. Sometimes it'll get sl too slow and it won't look like, I don't know, it'll look weird. So just kind of mess around with that and how slow you want to um, put it. So now you're just going to want to click on the grid somewhere so that nothing's highlighted anymore. It'll just be 